Hey party people, welcome back. I noticed it says Nico feels uneasy. I guess that's because they haven't been introduced to us yet, and I never closed the game before that, uh, before. It, it, interesting. Oh, okay, so that, that's locked. Yeah, so I still don't know exactly how much is going to be different this time. So we will just have to kind of go through the game and, and see, and obviously I'll cut out stuff that's just all the same. Um, wait, so so the branch wasn't there though, right? Or is it? Oh yeah, that's, that's right, the remote wasn't there. Okay, I can still get rid of the branch. Interesting. I see, we just didn't need the remote there because the password was that other contextual thing. I still never remember which one to hit between start and next. Uh, oh, that's right, we, we need alcohol. Nico needs to get drunk. You gotta get turned. So then I guess maybe all of this will be exactly the same until we get towards the part where we would split off somehow, thanks to that journal. I hope I don't have to keep it open the whole time. You know what, I'm gonna do that just in case. I'm gonna open it in the background. I guess we never really got clear on exactly why the light bulb only lights up in Nico's presence. It still feels like it must be using their life force or something somehow. But they were talking about yellow phosphor and how that's a very rare kind of phosphor. I wonder if that's because it only comes from other worlds. Hmm. And then somehow putting it in here kicks us all the way out to the barrens. I wonder if that's the entity being like, Oh no, you're gonna take it to the top and get the fuck out. I'm pushing you as far away as I possibly can. I bet I should actually be able to go through this whole part pretty quickly, now that I know what to do. So much of the other time was spent wandering around having no idea where to go. Hey, profit bot. Let's see if Nico says anything different since they already kind of know my name. Ah, uh, that light bulb. You are here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence. Yes. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little lost. Alright, allow me to explain some things. Yeah, this is the same. Oh yeah, I can ask about Mary. When I woke up in that house, for some reason I called out a name. Mary. I'm not sure why I did that, but then I saw it on a computer too. Ah, that would be our god. <laughs> he sparkled. Oh right, I think I... I feel like I remember something about that. You do. But wait, did you not just arrive here? I was the one who was supposed to inform you of that. <laughs> so how did you know? Hmm. It just made sense, I guess. Ah. Have you already contacted Mary, then? <laughs> so happy. Nope. I just have to close my eyes and focus, right? <laughs> you knew what to do without being told. Hey, Mary. God, this is going to sound weird, but have we met before? Yes. Ah, but I don't know who you are, though. It's just a weird feeling that I have. Oh, I bet I'm just being silly, aren't I? Sorry. But it's nice to meet you, Mary. My name is Nico. <laughs> I just contacted Mary, yeah. Do not be afraid to ask Mary for assistance. You are the messiah, after all. Can you tell me about... <laughs> Alright, I assume these will be the same. Yeah, the rest of it was the same. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm just gonna go right on over to Silver. Oh yeah, I never did talk to this robot up here. I'll have to do that once I turn on all the robots this time. Hey, Silver. The light bulb. So, are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. See, this will be the same.
Oh, I just realized I have this strange journal, and um, before in, in the other game I got it out of that box, right? But here I just have it. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder if you can just skip straight to putting that password in. <gasps> That's right, we saw a yellow light here before, but we, we, we couldn't do anything with it. Are you okay? You were starting to black out. I... I saw something? It looked like profit bot? It was like a really short dream just now. Oh? I saw something like a robot with a yellow eye. That's... strange. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah... You know, now that you meant have mentioned it, there is a robot who always insisted on going back to the abandoned mines, despite how long the mines have been in disrepair. I hope he's okay. He doesn't look broken or anything, but I didn't really see him see him, you know? Like I said, it was kind of like a dream, and he was up close. Sounds like some kind of visual glitch or hallucination, whatever it is that living beings have. <laughs> Does the robot you know of have a yellow eye? I don't think I've seen any other robots like that. I would not know. I've never met him myself, only heard of him from a friend of mine. Your friend, huh? Hold on, something in my pocket is... Yeah, the journal, we already have it. Oh shit! What's what's gl that what wasn't glowing before? What is this place? That was going to be my question. Where did you get that book? Oh, uh, it was with me when I woke up back at the house. I didn't really question it at the time. I flipped through a couple of pages, but I don't understand a word. Is that just something Messiahs are supposed to wake up with? <laughs> no, I've never heard of anything like that. But I know who wrote the book. Oh? However, I've only seen his books with a black clover on the cover. If he went through the trouble of putting yellow phosphor in it, and the fact that you woke up with it in the first place, really has me intrigued. Yellow phosphor? Oh yeah, that's the rare phosphor that people think the sun is made of, right? <laughs> you already know that. Wait a minute, how do I know this? <laughs> I don't think anyone's told me about it. Uh, I can show you if you'd like. Oh shit, stuff's already different. Yeah, she gave me the pendant. My friend gave me this a long time ago. Pretty! Oh, it looks like there's a clover in the necklace, too. Like the book. Well, it is the same person. Oh, That's why I think this journal would be important. You said it just started glowing? Yeah. That was right after your vision, then. This has to mean something. Maybe you should at least try to read it again. Oh, snap! Uh, a uh, glowing journal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It, it shows a cart. Oh, I found this page. It looks kind of like a drawing of this room. Maybe it's telling us we should come here? Which we did already, so it looks like we're on the right track. <laughs> the right track. Wait, so, 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 so... Are there more pages, or...? It looks like just the one. What does it mean? There's no- there's no cart there yet. Hmm, Mysterioso! Oh, now I have the book just equipped, in general. Maybe you should inspect the journal a bit closer. What? Um, okay, so there's something I'm supposed to understand from this. There's a glowing blue mine cart. And little spikies, and it looks like it was drawn by a baboo. Maybe I'll come back. Ready to leave? Mm hmm. I hope that's not a big mistake. <laughs> Did I already screw up this run? I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Of course. have anything else to say to me, dude? I see you've made progress in this world, Mary, but that progress stops here. 
I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what that means, Mary? Yeah, I know. Good, start looking. I... Jerk. I think the code was actually different this time. It's 771234. 771234. 771234. 7712234. So, yeah, only the gas mask was in the safe this time. I want to I wanna talk to that robot and see if he has anything to say. There's one that's all alone up here. What's up, dude? Hello, small person. <laughs> You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. The new head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. <laughs> you would have had to have already gone there, though, to get that dialogue. Wait a second. Yeah! Okay, okay. I tried I tried standing where it was perfectly overlaid. I'm so stupid. What what just happened? Did you see that, Mary? This minecart just showed up out of thin air. I wasn't looking though, I was just looking at the journal like you told me. Maybe we should go find that robot lady. Oh yeah, because I left. I was just taking a closer look at the journal, and then I found this page that looks like a drawing of this room. When I looked back up, the minecart just showed up out of thin air. Should I be worried? This looks like a standard issue minecart, though, which means it likely detected the motion in this room and sent itself over. Oh, that does make sense. I'm surprised it still works. Guess that means we'll have a working vehicle now. Not sure why you would want to visit the deeper mines, but if you wanted to, we now have that option. Ooh! Is the minecart even going to fit both of us? No. But I wanted you to come with us. <laughs> I know I've got Mary, but honestly, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I can still come with. I would just have to follow along on the rails. D but doesn't it look a little precarious? <laughs> the magnetic rails can hold me in place. It's only ever dangerous to walk on if you're an organic being. What, is she gonna just like slide along them? <laughs> Which you are. Gotcha. Oh man, we can actually go here. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can control it. Oh, that's cute. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> uh, I love it. Ah, oh, this is good. This is good stuff. I do not recognize this place in the protocol. This... this isn't what I'm supposed to be showing you at all. How did you get here? I can only think of one person. He contacted you. How long has he been doing this? It doesn't matter at this point. You are going out of bounds. You should turn back. Please turn back. Bad things are going to happen. Very bad things. At this rate, Nico will be in danger. Please turn back. Um... Yeah, that's right. The entity is actually worried about Nico's safety. Hmm, what's wrong? I... I have a bad feeling about this all of a sudden. Feels like I should not be here. Ah. Uh, do you want to head back then? I don't know. What do you think, Mary? <laughs> God, my cats are running around like crazy. They're jealous of the Nico. What do you think, Mary? Should we head back? Uh, I want to know what's there, but it feels mean to Nico to keep going. Let's keep going. Mary says we should keep going. All right. Mmm, sorry, Nico. I feel like we have to we have to pursue the truth. Is this gonna give it get us a game over? Oh, the cart stop. Looks like this is as far as the track goes. So where are we? One of the old observation rooms. Looks like it'll still it's still mostly intact. What? The terminal just reactivated, but the power was cut off so long ago. Weird. It runs on battery? No, that's not it. Whatever it is, I need to investigate. Okay. Will you be okay by yourself for a bit? Don't worry, Mary's with me. Alright, stay safe. Mm. Mm. 
some sort of computer. Troubling. Oh, there's one of the power cell things. Some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. How am I supposed to go in this door? Creepy door. Hello. Is this gonna get super spoopy? I don't want a spoopy. Oh! I I recognize the light in your eyes. You are the person I am destined to meet. What is your name? I'm Nico. Do you know who sent you? Oh, um... No? Wait, do you mean who sent me to this world? There was a robot a while back who told me about how I'm the messiah and stuff, so I'm guessing Mary sent me, with them being caught and all. The robot looks a little bit like you, even. Maybe you know each other? I cannot say. Oh? A lot of my memories have been removed for safety reasons. Your memories were removed? <laughs> that's terrible! Wait, I'm guessing that's less of a big deal for a robot. I am going to assume you do not know who sent you. How did you get here then? How did you reach this room? Oh, we got here in a minecart. But the minecart wasn't there when you entered the mines, was it? Oh yeah. So how did you find it? I didn't really find it. The robot lady thinks it was just a minecart coming to us, but I remember looking at the journal when it happened, and when I looked up again, the cart was just there. Poof, just like that. Interesting. Please show me this journal. Okay. He, he looks like a kind of like grumpy ninja robot. He's cute. Mm -hmm. Then it has already begun. What was that? Um, here. We like took something out of his head? What? What is that? I am entrusting you with my main memory disk. You have passed the first test by showing me the book. Now you will need to find a way to install the backup. Install the... Before you do that though. Someone else is with you, right? Someone aside from Mary. A resident of this world. Yeah, the robot lady with the red hair. She's in the computer room right now. Then please do not tell her you found me. At least, not yet. I can't be seen like this. Um, okay. Please help me restore my memory. Bring the disc back once you have the backup. Bring the disc back once you have the backup. Oh, can, can I copy it over here? Profitbot Zero Backup System 1.0. Please insert disk. Yep, that's the computer. <laughs> okay, memory disk. That was a floppy disk. Alright. Error. Backup request denied. What? Dormitory assignments are not up to date. Please configure the residential tracking machine to continue. Okay, then. Dormitory assignments. Oh, oh, there's a puzzle. Residential tracking machine. For reference and explanation of the symbols. Cross. Medical units are assigned to this building. A robot. A robot is assigned to this building. Electricity. A power cell is assigned to this building. Oh, was I supposed to remember from 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 last time? Apparently there was one uh, building that I did not go in. So, um... Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look this up. Oh no, is there no way to like get a hint? Yo, Silver! <laughs> How's it going? This observation room isn't for the mines. I've actually never been to this particular one. Really? You recognized it at first though? They all look the same. Fair enough. I did find something interesting though. All the databases seem to encode video feeds. Right now I can see various places in the barrens, the outposts, the residential areas. Ooh! Even my own house. They're all shots from a top-down perspective too, which means the cameras would have to be in the air. But I've never seen any cameras around. That's kind of spooky. I might go investigate later, yeah. Did you find anything interesting in the back room? You were in there for a while. Yeah, we found a dead end. I see. Okay, so 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 we need we need to be able to look at can we look at it? Let me look. I I got to look. I got to I got to check. There's no way to like get silver to, to move away from that particular computer. Oh, can I leave and come back?
Okay, good. So I just need to go to the to the the upper place and see what's there. Okay, good. Here, here, here's our big bot friend. So lower right is power cell. And then left is jack shit. Wait, there's nothing. There's just a note. Oh, maybe it has to be blank. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Mary, or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? <laughs> What? Hey Nico, do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um, um, people. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. T. <laughs> that is not correct. <laughs> oh. There's a robot here. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. <laughs> In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not have even have mouths. Murray, you made me look silly. <laughs> All right, so I guess this is a, this counts as a robot one. All right, is it gonna let me go back? No problem. I only know about half of these for sure. Hopefully, there's only one of each that needs to be labeled, and that'll be super simple. Okay, so this one's definitely robots, 110. 112 is definitely medical. And then this is definitely electric. You like it? Alright, so I believe there was a robot here. <gasps> there we go. Map reconfiguration successful. Okay. Actually, let me know when it was right. Oh, I have to re-equip it. Preparing backup. Writing to disk. 26% complete. 34% complete. 40% complete. 100% complete. Ejecting disk. Okay. Memory disk backup. Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disk, rebooting. Mm -hmm. Ah. You okay? Sure. <laughs> so I guess it worked? Yes. I believe a proper introduction is in order. I am the prototype originally originally named Prophet Bot. I was built to greet the savior of the old world. Wait, a prophet robot like that one I met? Hey, I was right about you guys looking alike. <laughs> well, the Prophet Bot is out there now out there now is a gross simplification of my design. <laughs> that is to say, he is much more primitive by comparison. Embarrassingly so. Yeah, you seem tamed, so to speak. Hey, he seemed alright to me. <laughs> you don't understand. Not only is he not tamed, he was tailor-made for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. I was not. I was built before the real world ended. The real world? Oh, right. You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? Excuse me? The fact that you found me at all means this is not your first time in this world. You have already been summoned to this world once before. In fact, you have already traversed the entire world and went through the tower already. And in the ending, you either put in the sun or didn't. What matters is that you are here now. Mary has successfully bypassed the one-shot restriction and brought you back again. I... Oh... Hmm? I thought something was weird. When I woke up at the house, I called out a name. It turned out to be Mary's name, and then I back at the other robot. I even asked Mary if we met before. Felt like such a dumb question at the time. It looks like you are at least aware of it. To some extent. It's just this weird feeling, okay? I don't actually remember going through the world. I just remember Mary. It's really starting to freak me out. Calm down. Look, just like how my memories were locked away, yours are too. But you're a living being. You don't even need extra hardware to remember. Just close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. 
no matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. All right. Oh, snap! You're remembering a lot of stuff. <gasps> no way! I was there, wasn't I? At the tower. I've been through the tower. There we go. I can't remember all that much, but the room with the sun, it feels like such a long time ago. It doesn't make sense. If I already finished the mission, why didn't anything change? And why doesn't anyone know me? The other prophet bought the robot lady, none of them remember who I am. Of course not. The residents do not have that capacity. NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of a session. <laughs> NPC? You know, the characters, the world's residents, all their past memories are built into their code, but the characters themselves don't really exist until Mary wills it. Same story for the world itself. Doesn't really exist until unless Mary initiates the program. The program? The world machine. A universe simulator that runs on Mary's computer. <laughs> we are all in it right now. So we're not real? Oh, you are. Which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot run independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, this world has physical location inside a computer, which Mary operates. For this world to continue existing around you, Mary has to be in constant contact with you. If Mary ends the program, the world will go into a stasis. Does... does Mary know this? Of course. From Mary's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from other recreational game-type software that may have ins they may have installed on their computer. <laughs> they can also regenerate the world as many times as they'd like, now that the restriction is nullified. All of that is consistent with their concept of what a computer game looks like. So why am I even here? What am I supposed to save if everything is just... fake? Fake is a harsh word, but... And why did Mary never tell me anything about any of this? I cannot speak for Mary. I just want to go home. But every time Mary runs the program, I come back? Correct. Is that why I feel like... Is this why it feels like I haven't been home for so long? Maybe. Once you've established a mental link with the world, you cannot break it unless the world is saved. But at that point, the world can never be truly saved. That's... Why would... Why would you create a world like this? Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why do you keep bringing me back to it, Mary? Aren't you supposed to be a, a kind god? Oh, it appears that we have some confusion here. Mary did not build the world, Nico. Oh. Mary only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre-existing code. They actually have fairly limited control of the events. The world was built by someone else altogether, someone you cannot begin to fathom. It was also not designed to be the futile quest that it is now, but too many things went wrong. There's a type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world, slowly rendering it into an unrecognizable mess. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. The square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before. Then you know what to watch out for. The creator knows what might be causing it, but there is nothing that he could do. Until now. You managed to find me, after all. You being here was due to his help. Oh, I guess it has something to do with the journal? Correct. Looks like he wants to have one final attempt at fixing it, and he might need to do it through you. Nico, do you remember how to get to the Glen? Whatever you did in your last session, you should stick with it for now. I I remember a boat, more specifically fixing a robot that drives the boat. Alright, then go do that. Sigh. You seem enthusiastic. <laughs> That was sarcasm. Knowing everything isn't real really does make it feel pointless. But you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but how will I know that this isn't just another... Because this session might be the last one. The creator is mobilizing things, throwing everything into this one last shot. 
There might not be enough internal resources left for Mary to be able to generate another session after this. Just go fix the robot for now. <laughs> but please be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. Are oh, you coming with us? Need to take care of something first. But, but... Oh. Hey, you okay in there? I did what I could with the terminals for now, and... It's you. You're the robot that insisted on living in the mines, are you not? My friend told me to keep an eye out for you should we ever cross paths. Likewise. Your friend gave you something the last time you, you saw each other. Can you show me what it is? Wait, you know about the amber? I just asked to see it, didn't I? Alright, here it is. Thought so. He seemed to trust you, so I will treat you as an ally as well. Okay? Please listen carefully. You need to escort the messiah for the remainder of the barons. I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions in the near future. No way. Yes, way. <laughs> it's likely that structures in the vicinity of the messiah might be affected, making it a far more treacherous pilgrimage than the previous, er, expectations. <laughs> Mary and the messiah need all the extra help they can get right now. Understood. O okay. Guess we should head back soon. Even without the squares, the mines are not a safe place to be. Come on, I'll wait for you outside. Wait, I want to ask you... She left. If you were going to ask her about being not real, save your breath. None of the people here know their predicament. In fact, I don't think they can even comprehend it. It would be in your best interest to just pretend like we never had this conversation. Causing mass confusion in the world's residents would likely re result in unfavorable conditions for you. Alright. Wait, then what about you? How did you know? We never had this conversation, remember? Sigh. Oh, prototype profit, bot. Shh. Trying to establish a connection here. Sorry. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! This is some crazy stuff. Come on, let's go back. So you're gonna come with me now? I remember it, what happened in the tower. What I tried to do, and how you managed to see through it all. We have been through all of this. Even though it was only supposed to run once, you still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? And then you even managed to break out of bounds, bringing Nico to places that never should have been. It was him, wasn't it? And now, now, Nico is upset. What even happened in that room back there? What did Nico learn? Nico is upset. I can feel it. I told you to turn back, Mary, but you've chosen to trust that man instead of me. No, not even that. Just his book, his ghost. This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico is... No, 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 no. Everything is wrong. Ah! Oh. The minecart. Earthquake. The tunnel back out just collapsed. No. What are we gonna do? I... Wait. The exit just caved, didn't it? Sigh. I saw this coming, but this is a bit more sudden than I anticipated. Both of you follow me. We're two. The way out. Ah, uh, Crazy as shit! Okay, all of us are here. There is an emergency exit behind my computer terminal. We did not want to stump... We did not want anyone to stumble upon this route, so the terminal has been weighed down. It cannot be moved by normal means, but with our combined effort, it might budge. Maybe. <laughs> I am not strong. I'm not that strong either. If that doesn't work, we might need to dig around it and... You could have just asked. <laughs> yeah, you strong robo-lady. Foo. Come on. Show off. <laughs> Oh man. 
I don't even know where this tunnel leads. I would appreciate it if you did not linger here. So this is the way out? There wasn't any data on this path in the server room. It's new. Nico, get in the minecart. Okay. And they're both following me, that's cute! Uh oh. I tried. I really did. But I... Destabilizing... I'm sorry, Nico. I... I... protect you. But can't hold it off forever. What was that? Here too? Watch out! Oh, Silver! Ugh. Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I can still hold it up, but you two need to... Ah! You robot! What are you waiting for? Take the child and get out! Come on. But what about her? Ah! Oh, Silver! Come on. Ah! Ah! No. What do we do? You have to take this. What? The memory disk butt? Eh! This is where we part ways. Nico, the path ahead will lead you to the glen, right by the city gate. When you are in the city, go find someone named Cedric, give him the disc. But, but what if I... what if the squares... Hurry. Okay, they're... they're both... Understand the world, the prophet bought what he was saying. Is this world really just, just, is it? I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. Normally I wouldn't believe it, but it just adds up. Everything adds up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I can't fix the world, I can't go back home, but the world is already so messed up. If the squares don't get fixed, what will happen to the world? Where would I even go? We're gonna fix it, Nico. Oh, Babby. Oh. Oh. It, it kind of looks like Night Margin refined their style a little bit between illustrating the earlier and the later cutscene images like that. Something about that just looked very clean. Hang in there, Nico. I think I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun, and then everything got really bright. I don't remember a lot of the details, but none of it matters now, does it? I just got brought back anyway. I'm sorry, Nico. I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta do the right thing. I'd like to end on a nap. Looks like the ground is missing. I wonder if it's safe to walk across these vines. One way to find out, I guess. Oh, we're safe. Oh, that's cool. Is that always there? But we, you just like naturally didn't go across the vines. Let's see. I don't think I can take a nap until I get the vines cleared, though. Oh, this is all. Isn't that the city gate? It's. Oh, yeah, everything's all different. Everything's all glitchy. Oh, we can take a nap though. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? 
All right, so I guess that's the end of this episode, and oh man, everything's getting all crazy! I'm excited! Uh, thank you for coming with me so far on this little journey, and I guess we'll see what happens next time! Wink!